reading Cause this book's gonna be a good book Cause this book's gonna be a good book Cause this book's gonna be a good, good book to read Cause this book's gonna be a good book Cause this book's gonna be a good book Cause this book's gonna be a good, good book to read Pick up that book and turn the page You'll never know just what you'll find Information or fantasy Drama and art I'll make you smart Good morning, Trailblazers. Today is Thursday, January 16, 2014. I'm Adriana. And I'm Logan. And we are reading the news anchors from Ms. Phyllis's fifth grade class. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now here's Miss Mims. All right. Okay. Good morning, Trailblazers. Back on a very cold Thursday. Hope you guys are staying warm inside your classrooms. Okay, we're going to have our news anchor uh, pull two names today. Pull out two. All right, and we have Reese Lynn Thursby in Miss Whitmore's class, and we have Ava Carter in Miss Pinson's class. So please come on down to uh, the WTS newsroom, and we'll see you then. All right, back to the anchors. Today's lunch is roasted chicken with corn muffin, cheese pizza, and turkey taco salad. Side items include collard, collard greens, mashed potatoes, fruit juice, and fresh fruit. And now here's a book infomercial. <laughs> My favorite book is The Lost Hero because I love Greek and Roman mythology. The Lost Hero has both. Another reason why The Lost Hero is my favorite book is I never know what's going to happen next. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time I read The Lost Hero. But you must be willing to read a long book because The Lost Tale is 553 pages long. So if you love Greek and Roman mythology and you love a book that you just can't drop, The Lost Tale is the book for you. And now here's Ms. Keltner and Dr. Poole. Good morning, Trailblazers. Happy Thursday. Yes. <laughs> We have a very special guest with us this morning. This is Mr. Eric Davis. He's visiting us from Wells Fargo Bank. He's with the Leon County Schools Foundation, and he's participating in our Principal for a Day uh, event. So he's going to get to see how DeSoto Trail works on a daily basis. Uh, Mr. Davis, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm Eric Davis. I'm a commercial banker with Wells Fargo here in Tallahassee. Um, I'm originally from Mobile, Alabama. Been in Tallahassee for eight years absolutely loving it have a family um, my wife of eight years I have a six-year-old who's a first grader and I have a three-year-old who is preparing to go to pre-k <laughs> oh. and their neighbors they go right down the street to Hawks Rise Elementary so very familiar with our area all right well welcome he actually has an important new uh, news bulletin most important news of the day today we have one birthday yes we'd like to wish a happy birthday to Riley Alexander like Riley Alexander to come down to the office to get their treat you. Uh, let's see what else do we have going on today. I know we have school tour um, of guests that are looking at DeSoto Trail for school next year, so be on the lookout if you see some special guests touring the school. Uh, we will also be throughout the campus today. We'll be visiting some classrooms and uh, just walking around so we can show Mr. Davis how wonderful DeSoto Trail is. Tomorrow morning, a few of us will be downtown at the uh, Civic Center for the MLK breakfast. I believe, oh, I'm not even going to say the name. It's Teamy and 
And Baylor, yes. Baylor Show, Matt, and Timmy uh, Sabanjo. So we will see you all tomorrow morning at the Civic Center. Don't forget, teachers, your data chats are due to us tomorrow because we're going to be meeting first thing Tuesday morning. So make sure you get those to us, please. And fourth grade, you guys are going down to the Museum of Florida History. So enjoy your field trip tomorrow. Uh, let's see, another shout out to Taylor Hansen for accomplishing her division math, division facts on extra math. Congratulations. And then we also have the certificate, uh, you know, Logan Chase was our Spelling Bee representative, and then our alternate was Jacob Trykowski. So, Jacob, congratulations to you also for being the number two speller at our school, and we have a certificate for you, so we will get that to you shortly. And on another note, I just want to remind all the students about behavior in the lab and um, computer etiquette and making sure that you are focusing on the work you're supposed to be doing when you're in the lab, taking care of those computers. And reminder that there is no success maker today. So everything that I'm telling you about the lab, you start again tomorrow being on your best behavior in there and just making sure that you're treating all of our technology with respect and making sure you're keeping it clean and also not bothering your partners. You know, you've got to focus on what you are doing. Don't interrupt others while they are working in the lab. All right. Uh, Ms. Poole, anything else you'd like to share with the Trailblazers today? To our beginning teachers, our first year teachers, I'd just like to give you a heads up. At some point today, I will be calling you down. If you would, go ahead uh, go ahead and make sure you have some work uh, designated that you can give to the students just during that time when I send someone else to uh, take your place so that you can come down with me and discuss your evaluation. I want to just give you a heads up on that so that you, you know, you're not caught off guard. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. I'm going to send it on back to the news team at this time. A late aid success win for the week is friendship. Friendship is a relationship to someone with whom I enjoy sharing my thoughts, ideas, and time. Someone once said, a good friend is more valuable than gold. Now here's Miss Mims. <coughs> All right, good morning, Trailblazers, again. I have here with me uh, Riesland, and she's going to tell you what she did to radiate success. I picked up stickers because the kinder kindergartners left a real big mess. <laughs> All right, but well, thank you for helping our kindergartners out. And I have Ava Carter. I helped a classmate by me being nice. All right, she helped a classmate by being nice by helping him get all his things organized and together. Um, so big uh, hands up to those ladies. Just want to say that school store is tomorrow, so please come out and spend your Starbucks. Uh, Miss Gresham and the PTO will be waiting on you. Now back to the news team. Those students that have uh, tokens from the green bus and the black bus, uh, would you see the A's that would be out back or either if you come to the front office and see Miss Carly or Miss Melissa, they will have the Starbucks for you on tomorrow. Want to make sure you get those because I know you're ready to spend them. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Go, Go ready. Success, Trailblazers. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.